So Notion is about to drop one of their biggest updates ever for anyone who uses Notion professionally. And in this video, I'm going to briefly explain to you why this update is such an absolute game changer. Now, full disclosure, the update is not yet on their website, but I heard through the grapevine that it's coming soon. So I figured I would just show you this uh, just to get the excitement going. One of the most valuable features of Notion is their database structure, right? If I have my system over here, pretty much everything in my system is a database. And I can then connect these databases to each other to basically build anything that I can come up with. It's a no-code tool where you can just build custom solutions for your problem. That is absolutely great. But a major limitation in Notion's database feature is that when you want to share your database, you only have two options. Either you share the entire thing or you share nothing at all. And that is a major limitation because sometimes you might be working with a client and you just want to show them a very specific slice of a database. So for example, maybe I just want to show them the actions that are related to this specific client. At the moment, there is no good way to do this. So allow me to demonstrate the current situation and then also show you how this will be changed with this new update. For this purpose, I created a dummy database over here and this is basically a client database. If you are running a business where you interface with clients, there's a very high likelihood that you want to share information with them, right? Preferably you want to give them a custom dashboard where they can see their progress. Maybe they can see their costs. Maybe they can see all of the meeting notes. And technically that should be possible. But the major limitation right now, let's say I open this page, is that if I want to do this using my core databases, I automatically give any client access to the entire database. So what you see over here basically is an action Kanban, right? These are all of the action items that are currently um, active for Mark. So in the backlog, we have record implementation video. In the to-do, we have our final system review. And over here in progress, we have our hi-fi prototype. So Mark can just open up this dashboard and see how his project is coming along, which is great. Now, at the same time, because I'm using a linked version of my action database, when I'm just working for my personal dashboard, my day-to-day -day dashboard, over here, you can see the same action item that I'm working on for Mark showing up in my personal dashboard, right? So if I'm working for multiple clients, I just have everything aggregating in one central dashboard and I can just um, interact with it from there. And if I move it here, right, from in progress to, let's say I move it to done, and I go back to Mark's page, you see that this now also changed um, in his Kanban from in progress to done. So this is the power of relational databases. The problem at the moment is that if I would share this workspace with Mark, he can simply go over here, open the source database, and he now instantly has access to all of my action items. So this is a major security and privacy concern, right? Because by giving him access to my database, he basically has access to all of the database. So if I give him access to my meeting notes, he's not just going to have access to the meeting notes with him, he's going to have access to all the meeting notes. If I'm going to share finances, he's going to have access to all of the finances. Similarly, maybe you have a team, maybe you're working in HR and you're doing performance reviews for your team members. You might have all of the performance reviews in one central database. And the problem now is that any user can go into that database and read all the performance reviews of all the other employees, right? So this is a major limitation. You can either only share the entire database or not share the database at all. And this is the thing that Notion is going to change. Basically what they're going to allow us to do is to give database permissions per database entry. And what that means that basically I can say, okay, I just wanna have these action items available to this specific person. So now I can actually say those action items that I have in Mark's dashboard, those are the only one he's allowed to see. I can still see the entire database. He is only allowed to see this very small sliver of the database. And that is going to be an absolute game changer because what we can do then is build these interactive dashboards with all of the database that we're already using in our own system where we just give the client access to the information that is important to them while we still get to have access to the entire system. We can keep things integrated because currently you would have to build something different in a client dashboard and it would not sync up with your own personal system. And this adds so many layers of complexity. And I've seen this be a major turnoff for many people who want to use Notion professionally. So I think this is going to be an absolute game changer. Now, 
what are a few of the things that I really hope to see with this new release? I think the first one would be that we don't have to actually give manual access to every single entry. That would really suck, right? If I would have to go in all of these database entries and I would like have to give some sharing permission here or something like that, that would be a lot of work. So I hope that Notion will allow us to give database uh, permissions per view, right? Over here, I have my different views. I basically just want to be able to say like, okay, this view over here, why don't we just create a view and we call it Mark's view view. And I want to be able to just give permission to Mark's view. The other option that I think would be really nice if, is to be able to give permissions on property, because the way we are currently filtering this dashboard is by having a relationship between the action database and the client database. So over here, you can see this action system blueprint is related to client Mark. So it would be really nice if we could just say every entry that has a relationship to Mark automatically gives Mark permission to this specific uh, page. This might be a bit more complicated to implement, but that would be really nice because then what that would also allow us to do is that if we go back to Mark's page over here, right, we open that one up, anything that we add over here automatically gives Mark permission, but all my other clients cannot see it, right? So yeah, I think that is the main thing that I want to see. I would really like to see an option to make it easy to add things using the dashboard and don't have to manually give all of the permissions. But regardless of how they're going to add it, regardless of how we're going to do these permissions, I'm sure it's going to be updated over time. I think this is going to be an absolute killer feature that makes Notion so much better for professional use. I think this was one of the major turnoffs, right? It's so hard to build a system for your HR, for your clients, for any moment where you want to share just a little piece of a database and that you want to share with other people, that was just impossible. And that is now hopefully soon going to become possible. I'm very excited for this feature. Um, as soon as it drops, I'm going to show you how a system would look like, but I just wanted to share some of my excitement and, uh, yeah, big up to the Notion team. Keep it coming and see you for the next one. Bye-bye.